recently we released a bunch of Prodigy plugins, and one plugin in particular, one that deals with approximate nearest neighbors, uh, can be very useful to find subsets of interest. To explain this feature a bit, um, I have a little data set that makes things a little bit tangible. So uh, I have a bunch of recipe names here, um, and you know, maybe we're interested in doing some annotation of these recipes, but maybe we want to focus on a subset first. So maybe uh, one thing we would want to do is we would like to have a subset of all the recipe names that have meat in it. Now, what you could do is you could use like a normal search engine that does string matching. Uh, however, um, that would mean that a query like meat is not going to match uh, pork. And it also would not match uh, chicken. Or beef. Recipe names typically don't use the word meat, but we'd still like to have a system where you're able to query uh, and get results even if there's not a perfect string match. So one thing that we could do is we could say, well, let's not worry too much about the exact keywords. Let's just embed all of these texts first. So we're going to turn them into an n-dimensional mapping. And there's lots of good models for this. Uh, in this case, let's assume we use sentence encoders. But once we have all those vectors, what we could do is we could uh, store them in some sort of an index that can be used for fast retrieval. And then um, when I come up with a query, that also gets turned into an array. And then that will be used to find our subset of interest. And we have to be a little bit lucky because we do need embeddings that'll map well to our task over here. But in general, uh, this does solve the problem where we might have queries that don't exactly match the terms and we still want to find subsets of interest. If you want to do this in Prodigy, we've made it easier by introducing a plugin called Prodigy ANN, which stands for Prodigy Approximate Nearest Neighbors. This plugin will take care of the indexing as well as the querying on your behalf. Uh, and I would like to just give you a quick demo of this. When you install the plugin, you will have a bunch of new recipes available to you. And in particular, you will have this ANN text index. Uh, which can be used to index text files, um, which is what I'm doing in this recipe call. I'm going over all the text examples in this file uh, that I'm referring to over here, and then the index itself will be stored in a file that I have to find as a second argument uh, to this recipe over here. So let's run that. All right. So that didn't take too long, about eight seconds for 6,000 examples. So that's pretty nice. But now that we've got an index, uh, we can actually start writing queries for it. And to fetch examples, we've got this other recipe called ANN text fetch. Um, it requires the same arguments for the most part. Uh, we still need to give it the original text file as well as the index. But then we can follow up with a query. This query will be embedded and thrown against the index. And then we get this file that comes out with a subset that should be relevant. Let's have a quick look at that file. So looking at this file, um, for each text example, uh, we have some metadata attached. Uh, we keep track of the query that was used. We see the cosine distance over here as well. But moreover, we also see the, the text that's relevant. So again, beef is mentioned. Uh, we see chicken meatballs, meatballs, pork. So for sure, these are all meats, but they aren't necessarily matching this keyword over here. So that's definitely a nice thing. Note that in this case, I'm just using a single word over here, but I can get quite expressive. I can also just pass a full sentence here uh, to make my query more and more specific. So on its own, this is already kind of useful because now you have a subset that you can choose to annotate first and you can pass this subset to whatever recipe you like inside a Prodigy. However, to make things just a little bit easier, we've also added some syntactic sugar in the form of these uh, specific task recipes. So for NER, TextCat, and SpanCat classification, we have the um, task ANN manual variant available. Uh, these very much just wrap around the NER manual recipe that you might already be used to. It's just that in this case, uh, you are also able to pass a query, and then you won't have to store a file on disk before loading it in this particular recipe. So I should be able to just run this. That's going to start a Prodigy. And now you can see that I get the same text results. Uh, you can see that I also have the same metadata available 
Uh, but now I don't have to store it on disk first. I immediately can go into the uh, annotation interface, which I think is also just kind of nice. So there you have it. Um, this plugin is called Prodigy ANN. Uh, you can read all about it on the docs. And I hope that this demo gives you a little bit of inspiration of stuff you could do with this library. It's really helpful if you want to zoom in on a specific subset, but not necessarily use string matching to find that subset.